Carolina on top. And a steal. McAdoo took it away after Page tipped it. Page back to McAdoo for the flush. Carolina really has been running out quickly. Tarnals bring in Desmond Hubert and Isaiah Hicks. Page McDonald, Hicks, Johnson, and Hubert on the floor. Hicks will try a three from behind a screen and hit it. That's the first three that Hicks has made or attempted all season. Simmons tips the rebound to Britt. He'll find McDonald left corner, pump fake for three, drives in and lays it home. Good judgment by Leslie. He's had a great senior year in 06 as well. Will be our halftime guest as McAdoo takes away the inbounds middle of the floor and lays it in from the left. Eight for McAdoo. He's the leading scorer on either team. Inbounds to McDonald who checked in. Thought about the three right sideline. Instead goes up high to McAdoo. Hicks is back in as well. Page with it, left-handed three on the way and good. 23 to 16. McDonald will try a tough three. No good, but Bryce Johnson finishes it off with the big slam. Well, we got one of our own offensive rebounds that time. Has Johnson on his back, hands back off to Jackson in the paint, loses the basketball, Johnson out with it. He'll push it front court to McDonald ahead of everybody for the jam. Well, it was a terrific, terrific out outlet pass by Bryce Johnson. Carolina can't get easy points out of it, but they do get the turnover. McDonald has it, drives in from the left. Lay up off the glass, no, but there's Bryce Johnson to finish from the right, and he's heading to the strike. Eblen will try his backcourt shot blocked by Payne. That'll send us to the halftime break. Carolina had stretched that lead to 15, but it's down to eight as Britt gets a steal, taking it away from Sproul. He'll push it to Page for the easy layup on the right. But tonight he's rolling his, well, we'll talk about it here in a minute. We got activity as Meeks blocks the shot of Gettys. A little bit of a payback, and Britt will push it forward. Britt pushes the tempo to McAdoo, who jams it right over top of Addison Sproul. Another good pass by Britt. McDonald and Johnson come in for the Tar Heels. Eblen drives right of the lane, taken away. Fifth steal of the half for Carolina. Page to McDonald, alley-oop to Tokido, and that might bring the roof down. Probably because JP's head would have hit it on the way up. Tar Heels have traditionally shot much better in the second half than they have in the first. That's because Marcus Page starts shooting in the second half. Page <laughs> into the paint, stops, pops, and scores. Had a little spin in there as well. That was pretty. And he did it on cues. Page. As Wilmington goes zone, Bryce Johnson in the middle of the paint to Desmond Hubert. Had some trouble handling the pass, but once he got it, he knew what to do. I mean, college basketball doesn't see guys his size much anymore. As McAdoo catches in the post, turns over Gettys and drains it, and Gettys will be called for the foul. Tokido tries to steal it from Sproul, can't do it. Sproul drives in from the left, shot bothered by Meeks into the hands of McAdoo. Bounce pass through traffic to Tokido. He took off from, oh, I don't know, Salisbury, and still was able to finish it. Wilmington turns it over thanks to the Carolina pressure. Meeks to Britt, alley -oop to McAdoo. Another spectacular jam for the Tar Heels and Wilmington needs a timeout. Hicks with the nice rebound, one hard dribble in a triple team, sends it out to Britt. Now he'll knife in the paint. Baseline to Simmons for the layup on the left. And Britt, three-pointer miss from the corner, tipped out to Moody. Moody ahead to Hicks, who's all alone for the dunk. Well, he got the easy pass. That time the assist went to Moody. Carolina will ring in the new year with a 33-point victory.